King Charles III announced he will step down from royal duties, with Prince William set to become King William V. This has sent shockwaves through the British monarchy and the UK. Royal observers and the public alike are grappling with this extraordinary announcement, a move that will change the course of the monarchy in the 21st century. For centuries, the British monarchy has been a symbol of stability, tradition, and continuity. The throne is passed down from one monarch to the next, following strict rules of succession. It is exceedingly rare for a reigning monarch to step down voluntarily. The last instance of such a decision was in 1936, when King Edward VIII abdicated to marry the love of his life. Since then, the crown has almost always passed only through death, as was the case when Charles himself became king after the passing of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, in 2022. But now, King Charles has chosen to step aside, just two years into his reign, creating a moment of unprecedented change. The question on everyone's mind is why? Why would King Charles, a man who has spent over 70 years preparing for this role, step down so soon? The life of a royal is never easy, but Charles has faced more than his share of challenges, both personal and public. He lived much of his adult life under the microscope of intense public scrutiny, first during his troubled marriage to the late Princess Diana, then during his long wait to ascend the throne. Though he has championed causes close to his heart, such as environmentalism, his outspoken views and personal history often made him a target for criticism. Some have suggested that the pressures of royal life and the constant comparisons to his beloved mother, Queen Elizabeth, may have weighed heavily on him, influencing his decision to pass the crown to his son, William. Whatever the reasons behind his resignation, Charles's decision signals the beginning of a new chapter for the monarchy, one that many see as a step towards a more modern and dynamic institution. And now, all eyes turn to William, the new King William V, who will take the throne with the hopes and expectations of the nation resting on his shoulders. William has long been one of the most popular members of the royal family, and many believe that his reign will usher in a new era of progress and adaptation for the monarchy. As the son of Charles and Diana, he carries the legacy of both parents, his father's deep sense of duty and responsibility, and his mother's extraordinary connection to the people. William has always been seen as a modern, forward-thinking figure. Unlike the monarchs of old, who kept a certain distance from the public, William is deeply involved in causes that resonate with people today, particularly his advocacy for mental health and his commitment to environmental conservation. But taking the throne is not just about good intentions. William will face enormous challenges as he steps into his father's shoes. The British monarchy has always been an institution steeped in tradition, but in the modern world, many question whether it is still relevant. More and more there are voices calling for change, some even for the abolition of the monarchy altogether. William will need to navigate these turbulent waters, finding a way to modernize the monarchy without losing its essential identity. He will need to balance tradition with innovation, all while ensuring that the public continues to support the royal institution. Perhaps one of William's greatest assets in this new role is his wife, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, who will now become Queen Consort. Since marrying William in 2011, Catherine has been a steadfast and dedicated member of the royal family, admired for her poise, compassion, and commitment to her work. As Queen Consort, she will play a crucial role in supporting William and helping to shape the monarchy's future. Catherine's work on mental health, early childhood development, and children's welfare has endeared her to the public, and her continued involvement in these causes will help ensure that the royal family remains connected to the people it serves. The news of King Charles's resignation has sent ripples far beyond the borders of the United Kingdom. The British monarchy remains the ceremonial head of the Commonwealth, a group of 56 nations, many of which were once part of the British Empire. Over the years, several Commonwealth countries have re-evaluated their ties with the monarchy, with some, like Barbados, 
choosing to become republics. As King William V takes the throne, it remains to be seen how his reign will affect the Commonwealth. Some believe that his youthful energy and modern outlook will help strengthen these ties, while others wonder if more nations will follow Barbados' lead. Still, despite these uncertainties, there is a sense of optimism as William ascends to the throne. His reign represents an opportunity for renewal, a chance to redefine the monarchy for a new generation. William has already proven himself to be a capable leader, both in his public duties and in his personal life. He has a reputation for being a hands-on father and a devoted husband, qualities that have won him admiration from all corners of the world. As king, he will face new pressures and responsibilities, but many believe that he is well equipped to meet these challenges head-on. One of the most interesting dynamics in this new chapter of royal history is the role that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle might play. The couple's decision to step back from their royal duties and their subsequent revelations about life within the royal family have fueled much public debate. The relationship between William and Harry has been strained for years, but some hope that William's ascension to the throne might be an opportunity for reconciliation. Whether or not the brothers can mend their relationship, their actions and statements in the coming years will undoubtedly have a significant impact on the public's perception of the royal family as a whole. Charles's decision to step down was, no doubt, influenced by many factors, but one can't help but speculate that his health and age played a role. At 75, Charles is one of the oldest monarchs to have taken the throne. The demands of royal life including constant travel, public appearances, and the ever-present media scrutiny, are immense, and it is possible that Charles felt that his son, younger and more in touch with the modern world, would be a better fit for the role at this time. As King William V prepares to take on the weight of the crown, there is a sense of excitement and anticipation. His reign promises to be one that is more attuned to the issues of today, whether it's advocating for mental health, protecting the environment, or strengthening the monarchy's ties with the Commonwealth. William's vision for the future is one that combines compassion, responsibility, and progress, and many believe that he will lead the monarchy into a new era with grace and purpose. With Catherine by his side, William will have the support and partnership needed to succeed in this monumental task. Her role as Queen Consort will not be merely symbolic, together, they will represent the face of the modern monarchy, one that seeks to evolve while maintaining the traditions and values that have defined it for centuries. In conclusion, the British monarchy now stands at a crossroads, and with King William V taking the throne, there is hope that this ancient institution can continue to adapt and thrive in an ever-changing world. The transition from Charles to William is more than just a passing of the crown, it represents a shift towards a more inclusive, relevant, and forward-looking royal family. While challenges certainly lie ahead, William's reign has the potential to bring about a renewal of faith in the monarchy, ensuring that it remains a cherished symbol of unity and continuity for years to come. As King William V steps into his new role, the world waits with bated breath to see how he will navigate the complexities of modern monarchy. His rise to power is happening at a pivotal time for the institution, where public opinion is more divided than ever, and the expectations placed upon the monarchy are greater than they have been in previous generations. William's ability to balance these expectations while maintaining the core traditions that have made the British monarchy an enduring institution for centuries will be a critical test of his leadership. For William, the task ahead is monumental. The monarchy is an ancient and deeply symbolic institution, but it has often been slow to change. The world William inherits is vastly different from the one his father, and especially his grandmother, navigated. The rise of social media, global political shifts, and increasing demands for accountability and transparency mean that the role of a modern monarch is as much about public perception and engagement as it is about statecraft and tradition. William must find a way to honor the past while steering the monarchy into the future, a delicate balancing act that will require not just wisdom, but also an acute awareness of the public mood. 
There is little doubt that William's popularity will serve him well in this regard. For years, he has been seen as a relatable and approachable figure, more in tune with the lives of ordinary people than perhaps any royal before him. His work with mental health initiatives, such as the Heads Together campaign, has resonated with a younger generation who appreciate his openness and advocacy for emotional well-being. William has spoken openly about his own struggles and the importance of addressing mental health issues without stigma, making him a champion for causes that are particularly relevant in today's world. His environmental work has also won him widespread acclaim. The Earthshot Prize, launched by William, is an ambitious project aimed at finding solutions to the world's biggest environmental challenges. Inspired by the Apollo moon landings, William has positioned this initiative as one of the defining pillars of his public life. As king, this commitment to sustainability and environmental stewardship will likely become a cornerstone of his reign, aligning the monarchy with one of the most pressing global issues of our time. However, even with his popularity and his forward-thinking approach, William faces significant hurdles. The British monarchy is at a crossroads and many within the Commonwealth are questioning their relationship with the institution. Some countries have already made moves towards becoming republics, most notably Barbados, which severed its formal ties with the monarchy in 2021. Other nations, particularly in the Caribbean, are now considering following suit. For William, this will be one of his most pressing challenges, how to maintain the relevance and unity of the Commonwealth at a time when more and more countries are reconsidering their ties to the crown. It will not be enough for William to simply carry on the work of his predecessors. He will need to be proactive in addressing the concerns of these nations, many of which are grappling with the legacy of colonialism and seeking reparative justice. William has shown himself to be a thoughtful and empathetic leader, and it is likely that he will approach these difficult conversations with the sensitivity and diplomacy required. But it will not be easy. The future of the monarchy as a global institution may very well depend on his ability to navigate these challenges successfully. As king, William will also have to deal with tensions closer to home, particularly within his own family. The relationship between William and his younger brother, Prince Harry, has been the subject of intense public scrutiny ever since Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, decided to step back from royal duties. The brothers, once famously close, have been estranged for several years now, with reports of deep rifts between them. William's ascension to the throne raises new questions about the future of their relationship. Will this be an opportunity for reconciliation, or will the distance between them grow even wider? While some see William's rise as a chance for a fresh start between the brothers, others fear that the pressures of kingship may only complicate matters further. The public feud between Harry and the royal family has undoubtedly affected the monarchy's image, particularly among younger audiences who sympathize with Harry and Meghan's decision to forge their own path. How William handles this personal and public relationship will likely have a significant impact on his reign, both in terms of public perception and family dynamics. There is also the question of how William will approach the monarchy's image in the media. The British royal family has always had a complicated relationship with the press, and this has only intensified in recent years with the explosion of digital media and the 24-hour news cycle. As king, William will need to carefully manage the monarchy's relationship with the media, balancing transparency with the need to protect his family's privacy. It will be a tightrope walk, but if anyone is up to the task, it is William, who has spent his entire life navigating the delicate intersection of public service and personal privacy. Through all of this, William will have the steady support of his wife, Queen Consort Catherine. Catherine's popularity rivals that of William himself, and she has become a beloved figure in her own right. Her work in mental health, children's welfare, and early childhood education has not only endeared her to the public, but also established her as a serious and committed advocate for important social issues. As Queen Consort, 
Catherine will play a vital role in supporting William, both in his public duties and in the private challenges that come with being a royal in the 21st century. Together, William and Catherine represent the future of the British monarchy, a future that, while uncertain, is filled with possibility. Their partnership, both as a married couple and as future monarchs, has been widely admired for its strength and unity. The public sees them not just as royals, but as relatable, grounded individuals who understand the realities of modern life. This connection with the public will be one of their greatest strengths as they navigate the challenges ahead. In the end, King William V's reign will be defined not just by how he handles the pressures of leadership, but by how he manages to evolve the monarchy for a new age. His willingness to tackle difficult issues head-on, from mental health to environmental protection, from family dynamics to global diplomacy, will be crucial in ensuring that the British monarchy remains relevant and respected in the years to come. As the crown passes from Charles to William, the monarchy stands at a turning point, and the world watches with great anticipation. William has shown himself to be a compassionate, thoughtful, and capable leader, and there is widespread hope that he will steer the institution into a brighter, more inclusive future. The path ahead will not be easy, but with his strong sense of duty, his modern outlook, and the unwavering support of his wife, King William V is poised to lead the British monarchy through this new era of history. The British people, and indeed the world, are eager to see what this next chapter holds. The dawn of King William V's reign brings with it not just the promise of continuity, but also a palpable sense of change. His ascension to the throne has already sparked debates and discussions about what the future holds, both for the monarchy and for the country. In the corridors of power, among world leaders, and in households across the United Kingdom, there is a shared recognition that William's leadership could mark a significant shift in the monarchy's trajectory. For many, the passing of the crown to William represents a bridge between the old and the new. The British monarchy has long stood as a symbol of tradition, but it has also been a living institution, one that has evolved to meet the needs of the times. With King William V, there is hope that the monarchy will continue to modernize, embracing the challenges of the 21st century while maintaining the values that have made it an enduring part of British society. But this evolution will not come without its challenges. One of William's most immediate tasks will be to address the growing calls for reform within the institution. Over the past decade, there has been increasing scrutiny on the monarchy's role, its finances, and its relevance in a world that is rapidly changing. The public, especially younger generations, are questioning whether the monarchy, in its current form, can still represent a diverse and dynamic nation. This is perhaps one of the most pressing issues that William will need to confront. The rise of Republican sentiment, particularly in parts of the Commonwealth, is another challenge that will define William's early reign. While the British monarchy retains symbolic importance for many nations, there are clear signs that some are reconsidering their ties to the crown. Countries like Jamaica and Australia have openly discussed the possibility of becoming republics, and the question of whether the monarchy should continue to play a role in these nations is becoming harder to ignore. For William, the task will be twofold. He will need to not only maintain strong diplomatic relationships with these countries, but also engage in meaningful dialogue about their future relationship with the British monarchy. It is a delicate balance, on the one hand, he must respect the sovereignty and wishes of these nations, while on the other, he must find ways to keep the monarchy relevant on the global stage. This diplomatic tightrope walk will be one of the key tests of his reign. Yet, despite these challenges, there is reason to be optimistic. William has already demonstrated a keen understanding of the issues facing the modern world. His work on mental health, his dedication to environmental causes, and his ability to connect with people on a personal level have earned him widespread admiration. These qualities will serve him well as he takes on the weight of the crown. One of the most significant aspects of William's approach to kingship is his commitment to transparency and accountability. 
In an era where public institutions are under greater scrutiny than ever before, William has shown a willingness to engage with the public in ways that previous generations of royals may have avoided. He understands that for the monarchy to remain relevant, it must be seen as open and responsive to the needs of the people. William's transparency is most evident in his public statements about his own struggles and experiences. Unlike previous monarchs, who often maintained a strict separation between their private lives and public roles, William has been open about his personal challenges. His candid discussions about mental health, particularly following the death of his mother, Princess Diana, have resonated with millions. This openness has made him a more relatable figure, someone who understands the pressures and struggles of modern life. As king, William will likely continue to champion causes that are close to his heart. Mental health, in particular, is expected to remain a central focus of his reign. Through initiatives like Heads Together, which he co-founded with Catherine and Prince Harry, William has already helped to destigmatize mental health issues and encourage more open discussions. As monarch, he will have an even greater platform to promote.